Well, Arsenal got knocked out of the Champions League, so I no longer care about that tournament. Let's talk about Europa League. What's up, everyone? It's Sam, a.k.a. FIFA Brit from Gold Boys, here today to talk about the Thursday Europa League and Conference League slate. Will Liverpool come back from a 3-0 deficit to save their season? We're going to find out. But either way, it's going to be a lot of fun to bet on. But first, as much as it's going to pain me, let's talk about how Wednesday's Champions League action went. I cashed Bayern to advance at minus 110, which was sent on my Twitter. Sadly, I do know my own club. And Bayern were always going to get through somehow at home. We also cashed a couple of fantastic, spicy video plays. Bernardo Silva, two first-half shots plus 600, and Mbappe and Haaland, three first half shots each, plus 1020. Both of those were shouted out in my videos for the Champions League this week, and look at those gorgeous tickets. Some pretty nice hits all in all, nice spicy odds, so I'm pretty happy about that. But we've got more to talk about. It's time for Europa League, it's time for Conference League, so let's try and make some money on those as well. First game I'm going to talk about, Atalanta versus Liverpool. This one's simple, Liverpool shots. Nunes, probably going to shoot a lot. Salah, probably going to shoot a lot. But also, everyone on this Liverpool squad loves to shoot. The midfielders love to shoot. Even the defenders love to come forward and shoot. So Liverpool shots is absolutely the move here. I'm going to be using Nunes and Salo and Liverpool team shots in my Spice Lotto, which will be coming later on. So stay tuned for that. As for Atalanta props, they're at home, yeah, but they're probably just going to try and park the bus. They have a 3-0 lead. Why push it? They're going to play possession. I'm probably not going to trust any of them for player props. I'm going to be pretty Liverpool focused. What's up, everyone? I just want to say a special thank you to the sponsor of this video, Sleeper Picks. Don't forget that you can use code GOLDBOYS to get a deposit match of up to $500 if you sign up today. Thank you again, Sleeper Picks, for sponsoring this video. And now, back to the bets. Next game, we're going to talk about Marseille against Benfica. Aubameyang is the main guy for Marseille here, but unfortunately the odds kind of reflect that. They're not brilliant. His to score or assist is minus 105 on FanDuel, and I never really like taking to score or an assist at minus odds unless we're talking about someone, you know, like Vinny, like Saka, like Haaland, like Mbappe, you know, like the really reliable guys. I don't really put Aubameyang in that class of players, even though he is an ex-Arsenal legend. Shout out for your service, boy. But yeah, you know... Aubameyang is really the best choice here. You know, if you want to take him for a goal, even though he does like an assist, he's got a pretty good goal-scoring record in Europa. Shop round, best goal odds, he's going to be the main guy. Again, Benfica playing away from home. They have the lead. I'm probably not looking at them for player props, but if you can get nice odds on Di Maria, he is an absolute legend. You know, he's been around for years and he's still putting up good performances. Got a really nice goal in the first leg. So if you do want to back Benfica, he's your guy. Next game, we're going to talk about Roma against Milan. This is an interesting one because I think Roma are going to park the bus. So I'm not going to touch their player props. But Milan have usually had a good record against Roma. And then they lost at home in the first leg, which is a really weird result, considering that they're a pretty good team and they've usually historically owned Roma. You know, they very rarely lose, which is, so it's a weird one. I'm still backing Milan. Liao first half shots have been an absolute wagon. We will be using him and a Ruben Loftus cheek shot on target if he's playing attacking mid. If that shit is plus money, then yes, baby, yes. That prop has been an absolute wagon. I think I've bet it every week for the past two or three months, and I think it's missed maybe three times or something. I think it missed in the last game, which was pretty unfortunate. But he's still got such a fantastic record that I love that prop, and I will continue to die on that hill. Next game, we're going to talk about West Ham against Leverkusen. I do not trust West Ham to do shit, even at home. They were completely outclassed. They had a single shot from Kudus, like 15 minutes into the game. And that was it. That's all they did against Leverkusen in the first leg. They lost 2-0. They conceded goals pretty late on. They were trying to hang on, where it simply does not work. And now with Bowen questionable fitness-wise, I don't really trust anyone on this team. 
even though they do have incentive to shoot, I don't really trust them to do so, even when they're losing. Leverkusen just won the fucking Bundesliga. They put an end to Bayern's reign of terror. They are pumped up. They are amped. This is their chance to win yet another trophy. So they're going to come out full force. So Leverkusen props. Florian Wirtz, one of the best attacking mids in the world right now. Honestly, he's so good. If Boniface starts, give me Boniface goal. If Schick starts, give me Schick goal. I mean, Wirtz is just an incredible player, so he'll be involved in some way. He can score, he can assist. But they have so many players that have lovely player props. Like Frimpong, usually good for a shot on target. If Grimaldo is playing at left wing back, he usually takes free kicks. He's usually good for a shot on target. It's crazy how many options they have. Granite Xhaka loves a rip from outside the box. Dude will take a shot from anywhere if he gets any amount of space. Also probably good for a foul. He is low-key a hack. He always has been. He always will be. His temper's kind of calmed down a little bit since his early Arsenal days, but he's still got that hack in him in his heart. Wait, before we get back to the picks, I wanted to thank you all for watching. Woo! Friends don't let friends watch videos without hitting the like button. So go ahead and press the thumbs up button and like the video. If you're new here and not subscribed, you should go ahead and do so because we're dropping new content each and every day on the Gold Boys Network. We strive to cover every sport and give out picks and analysis and valuable information for free on the Gold Boys Network. So make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell so you can get notified when we drop something new. I'm Brad Thomas. Let's get back to the pick. The last game I'm going to talk about today is the only game in the Conference League I think is worth talking about, Lille against Aston Villa. Lille are a goal down, they're playing this leg at home, Jonathan David is their main goal scorer. He has something like 16 goals for them in the league, and the second best guy has something like 5. He is absolutely the main guy, and I would not trust anyone else for a goal on that Lille side. On the Aston Villa side, they just beat Arsenal, as much as it pains me to say it, and they deserve respect. Ollie Watkins is in amazing form, so if you were going to back any goal scorers in this game, Jonathan David and Ollie Watkins. Honestly, I don't think you can go wrong with that. Villa, yes, may try and park the bus, but if Lille get a goal at home, which they should, then Villa will have to stay in the game somehow, and I would trust Ollie Watkins to do that. So, those are the games I want to talk about. I don't really care about the other Conference League matchups because as someone who bets in New York, I don't really get a chance to study those teams from the more minor European leagues. And so when they play in the Conference League, I don't really know them. I don't really know who plays for them. So, I'm not going to talk about something that I'm not a subject matter expert on. I'll leave that to other guys that can care about those teams. But I do want to lock in some official plays now, focusing on... As you guys can probably tell, guys shooting from the losing side. So here's what I've locked in already. Marseille, 16 shots. AC Milan, 16 shots. And Liverpool, 22 shots for plus 976 on FanDuel. I took that for 0 0.2 units. And then I stepped it up for a nice little spicy lotto and round Robin did as well. Marseille, 18 shots. Milan, 18 shots. And Liverpool, 24 shots. That is plus 35.70 on FanDuel. I took that whole lotto for 0 0.2 units, and then I ran a round robin by two and put 0 0.2 units on each of those combos. There are three combos in that round robin. So in total, the stepped down parlay and the stepped up lotto plus the round robin should add up to one unit total. I'm also backing a couple of my favorite guys for first half shots. Liao and Salah for three first half shots. That's plus 19.88. I took that for 0 0.25 units. And then running the same thing again because I can never get it right between Salah and Nunes, Liao and Darwin Nunes for three first half shots. That is plus 18.14, also on Fandle. And I also took that for 0 0.25 units. So I split half a unit evenly across both of those. I will have some safer plays like first half shots builders, probably some straights as well, like a Ruben Loftus cheek shot on target, but I will lock those in officially when lineups drop before the games start. I will try and share a couple of things to my Twitter. Again, if you're not following it, it is at FIFA Brit. 
some lovely free plays there. We've been hitting a lot this week, so go and follow me if you aren't already. But as always, all of my plays will be locked in officially in my Gold Boys Discord channel. If you haven't signed up already, it's a fantastic time to start. NBA playoffs are about to kick off. Baseball's in full swing, and we're getting right down to the crunch end of soccer when I love to bet shots and any other action, honestly, if the value is there. So yeah, tap in and don't forget, tune in to my podcast, The Final Third. We have a couple of episodes out already. The link to that will also be in the description below. Go check it out on Spotify, iTunes, or wherever you listen to your podcasts and give us a nice five-star review while you're at it. As always, if you do think you have a gambling problem, don't forget to call the number 1-800-GAMBLER. And yeah, let's wrap up this nice week of second leg European action with a solid day. Best of luck on all your bets, and I'll catch you next time.